Hi, and welcome to the segment for uh, finding free music in your supplement. So, um, okay, uh, first right off the bat, the easiest way to find music is to just buy it. That's the bottom line. If you, uh, but if you don't want to go to Rob, that's probably why you're here for the supplement. Okay, um, so let's go for some ways to find it here and talk about this. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, one of the cheapest resources for finding free music is your libraries, your local and school libraries. And uh, school libraries, I would suggest you probably want to go to like the university level to find your music. And um, keep in mind, they're probably going to be limited on music, but they do have some music. Uh, your local libraries do have access to some music. Uh, they are restricted or, uh, you know, there's a, a limited resource on the kinds of music that you can find there. But um, you can find like learning how to play ukulele, uh, ukulele lessons, uh, chord work, etc. And even some songs. You just have to look at your library to see what they got. To show you an example, um, I borrowed this book from my local library, which is just down the street. Very convenient. As you can see, uh, this book is a, a book on Hawaiian music. Uh, well, I'm based in Hawaii, so, <laughs> well, so in this book, what's really neat about this book is that you got the, the song, and if you see there at, at the top of the page, you got ukulele chords, actual ukulele chords in and for this song. And then you look down the song, you kind of just uh, look through the music there, and you see the chords written above the words. So that's very convenient. So you can uh, play this song. And I once again, I got this from the, the local library. And we have, uh, uh, we have like traditional Hawaiian music, of course. And this song is only two chords for the whole song, two ukulele chords. And then you'll see it. Um, listed through the song what's neat about it so they have the English translation on the side uh, so you know what the song is about usually these kind of songs either you uh, know how it goes or you're gonna have to research the melody because uh, uh, naturally this song is done in a different language but this this book is on um, Hawaiian music you can probably find another book that's on uh, uh, music that you're looking for, but keep in mind. Don't be surprised if the search in your library is limited Okay, another way and one of my favorite ways is online uh, looking on the internet for free music and uh, This is my favorite way. I basically get all my music uh, that way It's just uh, easier and very convenient, you know, because basically everybody has a computer and um, um, It's I have easier access to the music as opposed to the library, going to the library, looking around, which really isn't that hard because it's really just down the street. Um, now, uh, when you do use this form of online or internet uh, searching for your music, um, you know, there's a lot of ways of getting free music, but the, uh, you must keep these things in mind when you're looking at this form of finding music. You must be familiar with the song or music. You got to know the song or music. Uh, I'm assuming that when you're searching on the internet for your song, that's probably uh, your favorite song. So you've probably listened to the song a whole bunch of times and you probably maybe even sang with the song, you know, quite a few times. So you're probably very familiar with it. That's the state that you have to be at when you're looking up these this, these kind of kinds of music. You want to be so familiar with the song that you can actually hear the chord changes, recognize the melody, or see the melody, uh, or, or recognize it as you're looking through the music. Because basically, when you're looking online, the music just kind of looks like words and chords above the words, and you want to be able to recognize the accents, meaning where the prominent downbeat is for the chord change, feeling uh, where in the music or song that the chord change is about to happen and what word in the song 
where, where that change is going to occur. Uh, I put an asterisk next to this one. It's not really important, but I think it is. It's to be able to transpose the song. Now, uh, to transpose, let's say uh, you're doing this because two reasons. Either uh, the song is in a key that's too hard for you to sing, maybe too high, too low, or it's in a key that uh, the chords are a little more difficult to play. And then maybe if you transposed the song to an easier key, uh, to um, chords that are much easier for you to play, you can probably play the song a lot quicker and easier. So, so keep that in mind. Now, so if you can do all of this, suggestions for finding your uh, music on the internet, there should be nothing to stop you uh, from finding your music and working it out. Because this, basically, this is what I do and this is how I find my music. And uh, just to get you started. So, now, uh, when you're ready, um, the upcoming tutorials will talk about how and I'm gonna show you and give you some techniques on how to get your music off the internet. So when you're ready, we shall see you there.